Changing the brushes on a Syntec motor is fairly easy. On most occasions you'll have to move this from the shower or from whichever appliance to change the brushes. To do this you'll first have to turn off the water and switch off the power to the appliance. Before working on the appliance you should make sure that the power is switched off and checked with a, with a meter. Also you'll need to put the plug in the bath and um, put something over the drain if you're working over a shower. That's of course unless you want to lose the screws. There are a few, uh, another idea is to take a few photographs before you start and then just in case you run into trouble when you're finishing you'll be able to see exactly what, uh, where everything went before you started. Um, to change the brushes all you should need is a posi drive screwdriver, um, a pair of long nose pliers, perhaps a small, a small screwdriver and for some of the later model showers you need a screwdriver with a Torx T10 or T15 bit. That's all you should use to need to change the, to change the uh, brushes. Um, now your motor will look nothing like this. Your motor will be thick with black carbon dust and that dust will fly everywhere. You may want to use a set of protective gloves to keep your hands from getting uh, stained with the black carbon as it comes off the old motor. Now, to remove the brushes, the brushes are here and they're actually held in place by the wire that holds that connects to the brush carrier. So the wire is here and it really should just pull forward. No, we're going to need the pliers, this one's fairly tight. If you're gripping this, grip it with the brass and pull it forward like so. You'll notice I've still got my finger over the old brush and the old brush should just come forward like so. Some of the older ones, if they've been in for a while, get sticky and you may have to use a screwdriver. I'll try it from this side, a screwdriver just to help lever them out. You can see it coming out now. And there is the old brush coming out. Now we have the new brush. The new brush is very similar and it should just slip in with the connecting piece pointing upwards. So you pop that brush back in and push it in and if you just hold it in gently and then press the connector back down onto the, I don't know if you can see this well or not, but connect it back down onto the uh, onto the push fit connector for the electrical one. Make sure that's pushed well home and that's it. That's one brush done and to do the other one you do exactly the same. Just grab the brush the, with the pliers make sure you grab the brass connector not the wire and then the brush should come out this one's another even though it's new it's probably just because it's new it's a little sticky and what we do is we lever it out I don't know if you can how well you can see that we lever it out from in there there's the brush popping out there's the brush of course there'll be no carbon on your brush it'll be very old and the new one pops in here just like that and this one is needing this this the connector you see is bent out a bit too far it'll probably need pushed in just a little and that comes out and then you just pop the connector back on here like that and that's that now securely fixed. All you need to do now is uh, put your motor back into the appliance, turn the water electricity on and um, you should have once again a working Syntec motor.